All right, here's a little uh, add-on video to the off-roading mechanic that just posted uh, uh, questions people asked about going into the automotive industry. Um, yes, normally I would say get jump into it, but the way things are nowadays, I have a hard time saying it. I'm a third generation mechanic. Uh, grandfather opened the business here in San Diego in 1957. Uh, he passed away, my uncle took it over, my dad split off and did his own. I took over that business and unfortunately a couple years ago, uh, I had to shut it down. Um, I personally take tool responsibility to myself. And one thing you need to understand is unless you're working at a dealership where they provide you with tools, you are going to be in debt all of your life. So here's just an example. Here's the toolbox. This is not the one I had two years ago. I got this one on a trade, but it is full. And I've spent a lot of money on the tools that are in that thing. Um, I have a bunch of stuff here that's down in that bench. Sorry, it's a mess. This is my electrical cart. I used to do a side work of wiring cars and I used to have two of those, but I wired it down because I got I got rid of the electrical wiring. This is my diagnostic cart. I'm trying to keep up on diagnostic scan tools. You know, you got the fully updated Zeus, very expensive, and as a backup, you got the launch with the J box. Everything else is just you know is what it is. Uh, where I'm currently working now in the last two years, we don't do about two-thirds of what I used to do. So this is only one-third of my blow mold cases of tools. You know, like for example, differentials. Yeah, we don't do air conditioning, but I still have my machine. Differentials, I got my differential tools. Yeah, we don't do that here, I used to. You know, right now I'm trying to downsize. I got two of these service carts I'm trying to sell right now just because I don't need them. But one thing you need to understand is you're constantly learning. You're constantly taking classes. You're constantly, all these different years, makes, models, what's the difference? Learning how to do a diagram, or read an uh, electrical diagram, how to do diagnostics. You know, one code for one year might have a totally diagno different diagnostic routine for two years later. When you deal in the general automotive industry, you gotta keep up with every year, make, model, and try and keep up with it. It's tough. And by the way, the cash part sucks. In the last 25 years I've been doing this, I've spent over $200,000 cash just on my own personal tools and equipment. And this is just what's inside my small bay of where I'm working now. But I have outside, I've got a full Anco brake lathe that is now rusting because they already have their own, but I have my own too. So I'm gonna have to start selling that just, to, just because, you know, it's insane. But if you're committed and you're gonna spend a lot of money and you're gonna do a lot of schooling, good for you. But if you're starting late, you know, I'm just about ready to hit 50 in December. I'm having a hard time now. I'm thinking about a career change. Good luck to you.